Hey, how's it going, folks? ET here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do um, screenshots in Mac OS 10. So, I, uh, no, iOS, OS 10. And um, this, I use this really, really often when I'm doing my videos. So, I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you the several ways that you can use. You can take screenshots in OS 10 and then bring them into your projects into iMovie. So, without any further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to resize my uh, screen here so I can see my desktop a little bit. Okay, first thing we're going to do is I'm going to have a, have a look at a couple screenshots that I actually took of an on-screen keyboard. And this will tell you how to this the keyboard shortcuts to do screenshots. I'm going to show you three ways to get screenshots. Pretty easy. So the first one here is the one I use most often. It's Command, Shift, and the number four. Or if you're using a Windows keyboard, it's a Windows key, Shift, and the number four. So what this does is, I'll do it right now. If you notice my mouse right here, if I do Command, Shift, and the number four, it turns into a, a plus sign that tells you uh, the area on the screen. And you can do a click down and drag and what it does is it'll capture whatever you want as soon as you let go of your your left mouse button it gives you a picture and it throws it on the desktop for you with the date and the time in a pg form uh, png format okay so that's the first one that is the command shift and the number four and again on the windows keyboard if you're using uh, maybe a mac mini or a hackintosh it'll be a windows key Shift and the number four. Okay, that's the first way. The second way. Okay, come on, you can open. Here we go. Is the command shift and number three. And what this actually does is it gives you a screenshot of the whole screen. So let me go ahead and do that. Command shift and number three. And it takes a picture of the whole screen. This is the one you want to use if you have to do it really quickly. Okay. So you'll notice once I open this up, it has the whole screen. And it is, again, a P PNG file. So very handy. Okay. So those are the two keyboard shortcuts. The Command Shift 3 for the whole screen. And the Command Shift 4 for a selection of the screen. Okay, so now we got those two here, yeah. So the one, I, like I said, the one I use most often is the Command Shift Four, and then I'll make a selection of exactly what I want. But if I'm in a hurry and I, I don't have time to s select it, if it's something flashing on the screen really quickly, and I know I'm not going to be able to catch it, I'll do that Command Shift and the number three real quick. So it's really important, I think, to learn how to use shortcuts, keyboard shortcuts in. Um, Mac OS and in iMovie especially. Yeah, there's lots of them. And I'm probably going to do a video later on the most popular and the best uh, keyboard short, qu shortcuts to actually remember. You know, you can look up them up later, but there's like three or four that I, I use always. It's, it's, it just saves you so much time. Okay, so there's w one more way to do multiple kinds of screenshots. Let me go ahead and close these real quick here. And that is... And going into your applications folder, which can be found in your doc or if you go into the finder window, where is it at? Go and then applications here. So we're looking for the utilities folder. It's usually at the bottom because it's alphabetical usually. And there's a there's a forgotten program called Grab, which I use all the time. So let's open that up. And once you open it up, you don't really see anything, but you go to this the capture menu item here, and you have selection, window, screen, and timed. So selection is the same thing that we did with the command shift number four. So I'll go ahead and do that. It tells you drag over a portion of the screen and capture it. So let's capture one little corner here. And now it gives you an image. But the difference between using the keyboard shortcuts and not is this is a TIFF image. This is a really big image. And then you have to save it. And there's no options. There's only one option. So let's do sample. 
And if you want to upload it somewhere, usually you want to be a PNG or a JPEG or a GIF or GIF, whatever they call it. And TIFFs are kind of big, so you don't necessarily want to upload a TIFF. But if you want the best quality, it's a good option. So another way is to do the full screen. And it tells you just click anywhere outside of this window here. And it captures the full screen. Again, you got to save it out to TIFF. So I'll do full screen. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into Let's close this one here. Next one. Uh, window if I want to do a specific window So I want this window right here now. I got a perfect copy of the window again. You can save it out To tiff Okay, close that one and last one is a really really good one when you're doing tutorials and, and other things where you need to actually show a menu It's a time screen and you got 10 seconds basically once you hit the timer So I'll go ahead and do that start the timer and you have the hourglass on the image here. So let's let's keep that open right there. And in theory, we'll get the menu item showing in our screenshot. Okay. And we do right here. And again, you can save it as timed. Okay. So that grab program is really handy. And I almost... I usually have it in my dock. I don't know why I don't have it right now. I think I did a recently did a a, re, a reformat and cleaned everything up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna drag it to my dock and I'll put it near my image things. So it's a good thing to keep in your dock so you don't forget that it's actually there because it's deep. It's very deep in the utilities folder in in the applications folder. So that's the third option. So pretty cool, yeah. So now we have these things on the desktop. There's a couple ways to get them into our project. I mean, the easiest way is just click on it and drag it into the timeline. And you got it there. It's it's going to be in the Ken Burns effect, of course. So you double click on it, and then you'll, I'll do the fit or crop, or whichever one you want to do. Let's do fit. They accept the changes, so now we have the image in there. Or if you go to file and import media, and then now you're at your desktop. You can just do, let's do the command shift four. We'll import this one right here. And now it's it's in your media library, basically. So let's let's go ahead and drag this here. And again, it's in the, the, the old Ken Burns, which I'm not a fan of it starting in there. It shouldn't be starting in there. We'll hit fit. And now we have the whole keyboard. Okay. Well, that's it for the tutorial. So you've learned how to make, how to take screen prints or screenshots or screen captures, whatever you call them, three different ways. Remember, the command shift letter number three gives you the full screen instantly and throws it on a desktop in PNG format. The command shift four, which I'll do right now, allows you to make a selection, gives you that crosshair. So you can make that selection and it automatically saves it and you can name it later. And then there's the grab app which is located in your applications folder in the utilities folder right there and again that gives you the, the option to do window full screen selection and timed which is really important the timed one so thanks for watching um lots more tutorials coming if you have any questions you know what to do put them in the comments and i'll get to them as quickly as possible you know this is my my hobby <laughs> it's not my day job so Sometimes, you know, real life gets in the way, but I try to get to them within a couple days. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, comment, thumbs up. Um, if you want to contribute to the cause, there's a Patreon button or click on the, um, in the description, I have resources on things I use that, are, that have affiliate links. So basically, if you buy anything that I use, it doesn't cost you anymore. They're usually Amazon links anyways, but it gives me a little teeny kickback. So it helps me support the family, the channel, and maybe one day I'll be able to buy a new Mac and replace this four and a half year old MacBook Pro with holes drilled in the bottom, which I'll show you one day. Okay, peace out. Aloha.